this week on Just Killing Time. We're down here in the low country of South Carolina. We're down here hunting with Hayward and Donna Simmons of Cedar No Hunting Lodge. Hayward, thank you, my friend. My Folks, pleasure. Cedar Knoll Lodge, Hayward Simmons. Come on with us, heading out from dawn to dusk. Get them in your sights and let it fly. Amped up to close the deal and a pocket full of tags fulfilling. One thing I can say keeps me alive. Just killing time. Just Killing Time is brought to you by Deer Haven, Landmaster UTVs, True Lock, The Heater Body Suit, Seymour Systems, Daniel Boone Log Homes, The ATV Backpacker, Haviland Knives, Rescue One CDS, Hunting Sports Plus, Crossman, Muddy Feet Graphics, and Game Sled. Well, I can see you got the backpacker out. Let you, me guess. You know when I get that out, it's work to be done. And I got 600 pounds of lime to load up and take to a food plot. Well, you've but heard. Don't, I'm not going to ask you for any manual labor help. No, don't worry was, about I that. I was going to say the Statler Brothers song, you've heard that, count on me. Well, don't count on me for no, this you one, tell brother. the folks at home what we're doing today, and I'll start getting this lime ready. For so food. That's my part to the help. That's what well, I'll do. I expect hunting my food plot then. <laughs> Absolutely not. Folks, we're heading down to South Carolina, Hayward Simmons, Cedar Knoll Hunting Lodge, one of our favorite early season places. We're going to do a little velvet buck hunting, and we're going to see if we can kill a hog or two while we're there. Let's get right into the action. Old Mark Aldridge, he's already in the stand, and he's got activity right in front of him. Hey, get out the way a minute, man. Got to get the old backpacker off. You make it look easy. Piece of cake, man. It's, don't want to leave home without it. Now, Mark hadn't been in the stand long at all when the solitary boar hog walked out into view. Saw a nice boar come out down here to Cedar No Lodge. Definite shooter. Nice boar, it's still early. Hoping for a nice velvet buck. But uh, couldn't pass it up. It's too pretty, too early. So we'll go down there and pull him off the road and climb back up and stand real quick, see if we can't get double trouble and double lucky. I guess Mark knew what he was talking about when he said double lucky. I know it wasn't a lot of footage, but it was short and sweet and fast. I hope I got it on camera. Saw one buck come across, a little six-pointer. Turned the camera on, just knew something was coming behind him. So, uh, it was just short and sweet and to the point. Fast moving, hope I made a good shot, couldn't tell. Obviously, the muzzleloader, it gets white pretty quick. But down here at Cedar Knoll Lodge, South Carolina. Can't beat it. You know, Buck, the only thing I can say about the backpacker, it's an engineering marvel. Anything that you can fold up and transport that easy and then unfold and use to do the, the work that this thing will do. And to haul 800 pounds, I tell you, Gordon and his son, they put a lot of thought in this and, and uh, you know, it's a ticket, man. They, I need to load this line. Absolutely. You, what, what did you think of Mark's hunt, man? 
Tell you what, he dropped that hog like a bad habit, didn't he? Yep. Folks, the reason you didn't see a recovery interview on the hog or the deer is he killed the hog, went and moved it out of the way, got back in the blind and the deer come out. And we looked for several hours that evening, twice, actually two different times. And as far as we know, Mark never hit that deer. We couldn't find it. And Mark was so frustrated, he just didn't even turn the camera back on. It happens. We all get a little frustrated once in a while. I'm frustrated. Why don't you load that line? I'm frustrated. Hey, folks, we'll be right back in just a moment while I load this line. Hop to it. 50 pound bags, you want to help me? That's one. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Haviland Knives. Get a Seymour Sight System and see what you have been missing. Experience the magnificent whitetail hunting of Western Kentucky with Deerhaven Trophy Bucks. It's another jelly head for a true lock. With a true lock chub tube, you're truly locked and loaded. The heater bodysuit is a one garment solution for staying warm on stand. Our warranty is buy it, wear it, if you get cold, we'll give you your money back. No one in the clothing industry has such a warranty or dares to have such a warranty. When you choose a Daniel Boone Log Home, not only will we give you this free UTV to get around your job site, but you also get our largest renewable resource, logs. That's about as green as you can get. Daniel Boone Log Homes have all of life's modern amenities. Custom cabinets, hardwood floors, granite countertops, architectural services, on-site consultation, and a lifetime warranty. Your dream is our passion. With over 60 years of log home expertise, we still do things the old-fashioned way. American-made, honest value. Daniel Boone Log Homes. Introducing the new ATV Backpacker Cart. A wonderful innovation with a million uses. It stores neatly behind your ATV or UTV and can be quickly deployed. Simply pull the spring-loaded pins to lower the bid to the ground, roll your load onto the cart, use the lever arms to lift the load, snapping the pins back in place, and you're gone. Visit our website and order yours today. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Rescue One CDS. Hey, wait a second, buddy. I know you're working, but... Yeah, I'm working. Tell people what's getting ready to happen next. Just, I think you're up, aren't you? That's right, man. You're all going to tag along with me in the stand. Velvet bucks and hogs at Cedar No Lodge. Now, get out the way. Sure. Don't want to hold a man up when he's working. 300 pounds. Oh, you meant the lime. I thought you was talking about me. <laughs> well, folks climbed up in the stand. We're down here, it's August the 20th. We're hunting the low country of South Carolina. We're down here with Cedar No Hunting Lodge and Hayward and Donna Simmons. And I tell you, the reason I like coming down here because you can start deer hunting August the 15th. They're starting August 15th with a gun. Hayward had nine hunters in camp the first three days. They killed five deer, five bucks, and had several misses, killed a couple hogs. So me and Max decided to ride down here and see if we can fill a tag hunting velvet bucks. It's usually pretty warm, man, mid-90s this time of year, but we had a thunderstorm brewing this evening. It's cooled it off in the 80s. And I'm hunting one of my favorite spots down here. Well, I should say it's one of Carol's favorite spots. It's his stand he killed. I videoed him killing a big eight-pointer the other year, two years ago, and then he come down and killed him a hog, so maybe I can get lucky and have half the luck Carol had anyway, so who knows. I'm going to sit back. We only got about two hours of shooting night left. While Buck was watching these hogs, he looked over to his left, and he couldn't believe his eyes. Now, in case you don't know, I'll let you in on a little secret about Buck. He likes those high and tight racks. So I figure this old boy here in front of us 
He's in some serious trouble. Now, just like we do a lot of the time, Buck is filming himself. Plus, this deer is hard left to Buck's stand, and Buck's left-handed. Let's see if he can pull it off. Here I am watching five or six holes trying to get a shot at him. I turn around behind me where Carol shot his Buck, and there's four or five of them out already. The third one from the left looked like he was the biggest. Hey man, I just hope I made a good shot. Give it a couple minutes and we'll get down. I'm gonna look at these hogs again here real quick. Folks, you guys saw what happened. This deer was quartering away from me a good bit, so I had to come in uh, a little sharper angles than I wanted to. But so we knew where the hit was, so we figured the best thing to do is back out, give him a couple hours, so we come back to camp, back to the lodge and reviewed the footage, and we hit him where we thought we did. So we went back over, took Hayward and the dogs, Max, good friend Mark down here with us, and we all went over there, and Mark happened across him. And uh, he might've went 100 yards, but he was probably dead before we left the woods. And uh, could have shot a hog this evening as well, but the velvet bucks, man, that's what we're down here for. Another gentleman in camp this evening, he killed a pretty eight-pointer in full velvet. Uh, Max, he's up to bat next, and uh, hopefully he'll get to pull trigger on one tomorrow. I know he's getting an itchy trigger finger, but my friend Hayward, I just want to say I appreciate you letting us come down, man. I love coming down, coming down here. The heat don't bother us as long as we can be in the woods. That's right. So, folks, we're just killing time down here at Cedar No Hunting Lodge. You be sure and check them out down here in the low country of South Carolina. Here, old buddy. Don't you say I Put didn't it there in the middle. I appreciate it. Appreciate all your help. At, You're at welcome, the band. brother. Congratulations. That's a nice velvet deer. A Amen. velvet buck, folks. Buck's killed three, four. I ain't ever killed one. Maybe this year. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Cedar No Lodge, that's where it's happening, and we love coming down there hunting with you. We took that deer back to the camp. That thing weighed 215 live weight, which is a pretty good deer for South Carolina, and it was five and a half years old. Uh, I was tickled with it, man. That's definitely a good deer. Folks, stick around. We're going to put Buck to work somewhere else. We'll be back in just a moment. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Hunting Sports Plus. Get a Seymour Sight System and see what you have been missing. Experience the magnificent whitetail hunting of Western Kentucky with Deerhaven Trophy Bucks. It's another jelly head for a true lock. With a true lock chub tube, you're truly locked and loaded. The heater bodysuit is a one garment solution for staying warm on stand. Our warranty is buy it, wear it, if you get cold, we'll give you your money back. No one in the clothing industry has such a warranty or dares to have such a warranty. When you choose a Daniel Boone Log Home, not only will we give you this free UTV to get around your job site, but you also get our largest renewable resource, logs. That's about as green as you can get. Daniel Boone Log Homes have all of life's modern amenities. Custom cabinets, hardwood floors, granite countertops, architectural services, on-site consultation, and a lifetime warranty. Your dream is our passion. With over 60 years of log home expertise, we still do things the old-fashioned way. American-made, honest value. Daniel Boone Log Homes. Introducing the new ATV Backpacker Cart. A wonderful innovation with a million uses. It stores neatly behind your ATV or UTV and can be quickly deployed. 
Simply pull the spring-loaded pins to lower the bid to the ground, roll your load onto the cart, use the lever arms to lift the load, snapping the pins back in place, and you're gone. Visit our website and order yours today. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Crossman and Game Sled. Now, folks, we're getting to my favorite part wait of the show. Wait a minute, wait a minute here. Before you what? start talking about you hunting, I want to show the folks at home how this backpacker works if they've never seen it. This is 600 pounds here now, folks. Go ahead, mind you. Go ahead. don't take too long. We got a lot of stuff to show the folks. How that simple is, is that, slick. dude? Drops right down, you can put your animal on it and then Buck will show you how it folds back up. But like I said, favorite part of the show, Hogs, hogs, and more hogs. Let's Watch just get footage. into the hunt. Let's just go hunt. At least you got something else to do. It is hot, folks. It's our second evening there in South Carolina, Cedar Knoll Lodge. Hey, we're just dropping me off. We got back into Rhino Blind. Same place we've sat since we started. We've here last evening, and we're here this morning. Seen a lot of activity. I want to give it one more evening before I move because I really believe we're going to see a whole boar hog out here this evening. I got Daddy's old 99 Savage with me. Again, this is my first hunt of the year. I'm going to start it off with a bang. Lord willing, the creeks don't rise. I'm going to carry Daddy's old trusty 99 with me the entire season this year as a tribute to the man that taught me so much. Now, after being in the blind for about three hours and seeing nothing, I heard commotion behind me, and all of a sudden, pigs came from every direction. Now you just heard me whisper, boys I got a problem. And the problem is, I need to get one of these pigs out by itself and standing still long enough so I can get the camera and the gun on the pig at the same time. Now while I'm waiting on one of these pigs to step out of line, so to speak, I want to remind y'all folks that you can keep up with what we're doing on Facebook, Twitter, and our website at JKT TV. I sure hope one of these pigs gets out of line soon. Now, all I can say is that's a great problem to have, wait folks. Minute, I got hogs. Wait a minute. All I can say is we're going to show the folks at home about this backpacker and how to shut it up before we talk about your hunt. Well, get to it. It ain't but a half hour show. We ain't got all day. Well, you should have done killed a hog. What do you, what you mean killed that? a hog? There's hogs everywhere, folks. See, uh, that's right. Now, I mean, now you can tell the folks about it. Backpacker, 600 pounds, got an 800 pound limit. I'm going to kill a hog that's going to push your limit on this thing. Stick around. We'll find out how it turns out in just a minute. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven Trophy Bucks is 3,500 acres of the best whitetail habitat you'll see in North America. We're a mile and a half from Illinois and a mile from Missouri, right on the Ohio and the Mississippi River. We've got about 500 acres of row crop, rotation with corn and beans, and the rest is all ideal deer habitat. Semi-mature forest, thick overgrown cutovers, swamps, creek bottoms, beautiful country. Folks, Western Kentucky is a sleeper state for big bucks. That's why the crews of Just Killing Time head west each fall to see Brett Wilson out at Deer Haven. Intense quality deer management combined with great habitat plus low hunting pressure equal a great hunting experience. The high hunter success rates 
and the size of the deer taken are proof it's worth the trip. Check my website, DeerHavenTrophyBuck.com. Look at some of the fine trophies we've taken over the past year. And give me a call at 270-334-3748. I'm Brett Wilson. Look forward to meeting you. If I haven't seen you already, then you're missing out on a good trip. After your hunt, then you'll understand why everybody is saying, Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Landmaster UTVs. Well, man, you got a decision to make. How many hogs you got in front of you anyway? It's, it's a pile of them. It's a bunch of them. All I can say is the first hog that gets out of line, literally, is going to get it. Drop the hammer. That's right. And yeah, you guessed it. I'm still waiting on one of these boars to get out of line so I can get the job done. After all that waiting, it looks like things might just work out the way I want them to. We're down here in Cedar No Lodge, South Carolina, folks. All I can say is you've seen how many hogs come in here on me right here. It was getting late. I didn't know if I was going to get a shot at it. I finally picked the one I wanted, and I put the hammer down. I'm going to go up here. Some of the hogs are still up here. They came back after I shot that big rascal. I'm going to go up here and look at him. Y'all come on, tag along with us. Hayward, thank you, brother. You said you had hogs, and brother, by God, you got hogs. Whew. Oh, Lord, what a big old boar. Oh, you big. What a big old boar. That sucker got tuskies, folks. Mm. Daddy Savage. I don't need this no more. <laughs> what an awesome hog. It's, it's a big rascal. Hayward, thank you, my friend. All I can say is you said you had the game down here in Cedar Knoll. We've been down here a lot of times, folks, and you can see by the footage. Cedar Knoll Lodge, Hayward Simmons, Low Country, South Carolina. A lot of game. And it's just a fun experience. The food's great, the hospitality's excellent, the, the staff, the lodging, everything. And hey, well, this is what we came down here for, right? It's a big old rascal. Folks, you might see it laying here. This is my father's Model 99 Savage. He was given this gun by my grandparents when he graduated high school. I'm dedicating this season to him. This is the first animal I've ever taken with this gun. And this is the first animal of my season this year. So all I can say, Hayward, do they get much bigger than this down here? I know they do. They get some bigger, but that's so, a good hog. That's a nice size hog. If you'd like to experience the hunting as seen on today's show, contact Mr. Hayward Simmons of Cedar Knoll Hunting Lodge at 803-584-0689 or on the web at Cedar Knoll or JKTTV.com. Well, congratulations, my man. Thank you, brother. I'm glad to see that biggest hog in the bunch stepped out for you. Yeah, I got kind of lucky. Yeah. Or maybe Daddy was watching out for me. I don't know. But regardless, that's, that's a big hog. That was hog. over 200 pounds. That's a that's good a, hog. That's a, that's a good piece of pork. Yeah, buddy. I'm <laughs> sorry you didn't get your velvet buck, but maybe this year. We'll get back down there if Hayward. It happens. You know, it's right. one of them things. Well, we're out of time again this week, Always, man. Always, man. What, what's going on next week? Folks, stay tuned for a tease for next week. One of my favorite shows of the year. It's Youth Day in Virginia. we got a lot of young people taking their first ever deer. My name's Michaela Mitchell. I'm 16 years old, and I'm going to shoot my first deer today. Got anything you want to tell the folks at home about deer hunting? It is really awesome. You need to come out and try it. You dropped it. I'm so proud of you, baby girl. Thank Are you, you so much. <laughs> Are you hooked? I mean, do you think you can do this again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just Killing Time is brought to you by Deer Haven, Landmaster UTVs, True Lock, 
The Heater Body Suit, Seymour Systems, Daniel Boone Log Homes, The ATV Backpacker, Haviland Knives, Rescue One CDS, Hunting Sports Plus, Crossman, Muddy Feet Graphics, and Game Sled. is our passion. With over 60 years of log home expertise, we still do things the old-fashioned way. American-made, honest value. Daniel Boone Log Homes. Introducing the new ATV Backpacker Cart. A wonderful innovation with a million uses. It stores neatly behind your ATV or UTV and can be quickly deployed. Simply pull the spring-loaded pins to lower the bid to the ground, roll your load onto the cart, Use the lever arms to lift the load, snapping the pins back in place, and you're gone. Visit our website and order yours today. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Rescue One CDS. Hey, wait a second, buddy. I know you're working, but... Yeah, I'm working. Tell people what's getting ready to happen next. Just, I think you're up, aren't you? That's right, man. You're all going to tag along with me in the stand. Velvet bucks and hogs at Cedar No Lodge. Now, get out the way. Sure. Don't want to hold a man up when he's working. 300 pounds. Oh, you meant to lime. I thought you was talking about me. <laughs> well, folks, we just climbed up into the stand. We're down here. It's August the 20th. We're hunting the low country of South Carolina. We're down here with Cedar No Hunting Lodge and Hayward and Donna Simmons. And I tell you, the reason I like coming down here because you can start deer hunting August the 15th. They're starting August 15th with a gun. Hayward had nine hunters in camp the first three days. They killed five deer, five bucks, and had several misses, killed a couple hogs. So me and Max decided to ride down here and see if we can fill a tag hunting velvet bucks. It's usually pretty much a lime to load up and take to a food plot. Well, you've hurt. Don't, I'm not going to ask you for any manual labor help. No, don't worry was, about that. I was going to say the Statler Brothers song, you've heard that, count on me. Well, don't count on me for no, this you one, tell brother. the folks at home what we're doing today, and I'll start getting this lime ready. For that's, food. It, that's my part to the help. That's what I'll do. I expect hunting my food plot then. <laughs> Absolutely not. Folks, we're heading down to South Carolina, Hayward Simmons, Cedar Knoll Hunting Lodge, one of our favorite early season places. We're going to do a little velvet buck hunting. And we'll see if we can kill a hog or two while we're there. Let's get right into the action. Old Mark Aldridge, he's already in the stand, and he's got activity right in front of him. Hey, get out the way a minute, man. Got to get the old backpacker off. You make that look easy. Piece of cake, man. It's, don't want to leave home without it. Now Mark hadn't been in the stand long at all when this solitary boar hog walked out into view. Just saw a nice boar come out down here to Cedar No Lodge. Definite shooter. A nice boar, it's still early. Hoping for a nice velvet buck. But uh, couldn't pass it up. It's too pretty, too early. So we'll go down there. This week on Just Killing Time. down here in the low country of South Carolina. We're down here hunting with Hayward and Donna Simmons of Cedar No Hunting Lodge. Hayward, thank you, my friend. My Folks, pleasure. Cedar No Lodge, Hayward Simmons. Come on with us, heading out from dawn to dusk. Get them in your sights and let it fly. Amped up to close the deal and a pocket full of tags fulfilling. One thing I could say keeps me alive. 
just killing time. Just Killing Time is brought to you by Deer Haven, Landmaster UTVs, True Lock, The Heater Body Suit, Seymour Systems, Daniel Boone Log Homes, The ATV Backpacker, Haviland Knives, Rescue One CDS, Hunting Sports Plus, Crossman, Muddy Feet Graphics, and Game Sled. Well, I can see you got the backpacker out. Let me guess. You know when I get that out, it's work to be done. And I got 600 pounds. It happens. We all get a little frustrated once in a while. I'm frustrated. Why don't you load that line? I'm frustrated. Hey, folks, we'll be right back in just a moment while I load this line. Hop to it. 50-pound bags. You want to help me? That's one. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Haviland Knives. Get a Seymour sight system and see what you have been missing. Okay. Experience the magnificent whitetail hunting of Western Kentucky with Deerhaven Trophy Bucks. It's another jelly head for a true lock. With a true lock jump tube, you're truly locked and loaded. The heater body suit is a one garment solution for staying warm on stand. Our warranty is buy it, wear it. If you get cold, we'll give you your money back. No one in the clothing industry has such a warranty or dares to have such a warranty. When you choose a Daniel Boone Log Home, not only will we give you this free UTV to get around your job site, but you also get our largest renewable resource, logs. That's about as green as you can get. Daniel Boone Log Homes have all of life's modern amenities. Custom cabinets, hardwood floors, granite countertops, architectural services, on-site consultation, and a lifetime warranty. Your dream... Pull him off the road and climb back up and stand real quick see if we can't get double trouble and double lucky. I guess Mark knew what he was talking about when he said double lucky. I know it wasn't a lot of footage, but it was short and sweet and fast. I hope I got it on camera. Saw one buck come across, a little six-pointer. Turned the camera on, just knew something was coming behind him. So, uh, it was just short and sweet and to the point. Fast moving, hope I made a good shot, couldn't tell. Obviously, muzzleloader, it gets white pretty quick. But down here at Cedar Knoll Lodge, South Carolina. Can't beat it. You know, Buck, the only thing I can say about the backpacker, it's an engineering marvel. Anything that you can fold up and transport that easy and then unfold and use to do the, the work that this thing will do. And to haul 800 pounds, I tell you, Gordon and his son, they put a lot of thought in this and, and uh, you know, it's a ticket, man. They, I need to load this line. Absolutely. You, what, what did you think of Mark's hunt, man? Tell you what, he dropped that hog like a bad habit, didn't he? Yep. Folks, the reason you didn't see a recovery <laughs> interview on the hog or the deer is he killed the hog, went and moved it out of the way, got back in the blind and the deer come out. And we looked for several hours that evening, twice, actually two different times. And as far as we know, Mark never hit that deer. We couldn't find it. And Mark was so frustrated, he just didn't even turn the camera back on. 